I grew up in Kansas. The towns of Russell and Hayes were small Midwestern towns. My father was very entrepreneurial. Being in the oil and gas business can be a difficult business. It's an up and down business uh, at best. He had health problems. These were brought about in part by um, a drinking problem that he had and struggled with all of his life. And then that uh, evolved into some, some other kinds of health problems involving his, his heart. And of course, while he struggled most of his life financially, he was teaching me a lot at the time. My mother always had very uh, strong moral values and Christian values. With these influences, young Philip's own entrepreneurial spirit developed early as he took on a number of jobs, yard work, grocery stores, and his own chain of lemonade stands. I actually put them on wheels so I could take them to better locations. There was a small college uh, and I would roll them on to, to, to the campus. I can remember actually uh, getting kicked off, and, and, and by the way, I was only eight years old because I didn't have a license of all things. Philip worked through college as well. The job that I remember the most was working at a sorority house as a waiter. And to be honest with you, I don't know whether that was so much to earn money or to just to meet girls. <laughs> Majoring in business at the University of Kansas, Philip soon set his eyes on law school, but those plans were changed when he was needed to rescue the family business from bankruptcy. A couple of days before law school actually began, I, I had to notify them that, that I wouldn't be attending. I, I had elected to, to uh, lay out a year and uh, go into the family business, uh, uh, which was struggling at the time. And at age 20, I guess, I actually ran the company and then sold it. And then I was free to start my own business, which I did many times through my business career and certainly in that first five years I was always on the verge of disaster but uh, I was able uh, to, to, to take risks. When I was uh, 27 years old the worst of all things happened. There was a blowout which caught fire and these are the things that can not only destroy uh, from a financial point of view, individuals, but can destroy companies. There was a person called Red Adair. He had made a life of putting these kinds of fires out. Well, he wouldn't come because I couldn't guarantee him the money. I found out that a movie studio was, was wanting to make a movie about Red Adair. So I called them and said if they could hurry out, I'd allow them to shoot real footage of, a, of an oil well on fire. And they paid me in advance. I called up Red Adair and told him to get up there. I could pay him now. And he came up and put the fire out <laughs> while they filmed it. Uh, and I used the money uh, to, to pay him, and I bought other oil and gas leases. It helps to have your back against the wall. Adversity is a huge advantage, as long as you think of it as an advantage, because it helps you to do things that you never thought you were capable of doing.